Especially coming off last night's effort and uh, what you had been saying, how how do you feel about the consistency throughout the night? Yeah, really proud of our group for um, you know just taking the lessons of last night's game. You know where we failed to to make the simple play, uh, to see the open man in front of us, okay, and trying to force uh, force things to certain guys. Um, you know we really bought into that uh, morning film session and tried to have carryover into tonight's game. We moved the ball beautifully. And as a result, the shot quality was high, and we, we had a great shooting night from from perimeter uh, from the perimeter. So, uh, you know, really really proud of our guys for uh, for applying the lessons of last night. I just wondered what you thought of LeBron's uh, efficiency and how he's uh, he he's was thirty points five of the last seven. Yeah, he he was unbelievable tonight. You know what I mean? It, it's still. Um, I shouldn't say it surprises me, but uh, it's just incredible, you know, for him to, to play at such a high level, uh, to perform to, to perform the way he did tonight. Um, not only just with his shot making, but his playmaking, his his will to you know to take take a you know a tough loss last night and say that's not going to happen again. And you know the the two losses we had against OKC where we built uh, big leads, and uh, you know and let them get back in it. Um, like he wasn't going to let that happen again tonight. So, just a, a great performance by by Bron tonight. Yola. Uh, Frank, uh, along those lines, there, I think you guys had a 25 point lead in the second quarter. They cut it down to 12. Uh, then LeBron helped get a stop that led to, uh, I think, a swing three to Melo uh, that, that kind of swung the momentum back in your favor. And, and then also, in the fourth quarter, they got it down under 20. And then he had like a fake handoff for a dunk. Uh, just Talk, like, what, what did you see from him that kind of helped you guys steady the ship whenever they were trying to make a run? Yeah, I mean, he, he stabilizes us, you know, and, um, you know, in particular those uh, those sequences you were talking about. But, I mean, I just thought throughout the game, you know, he helped build the lead, you know, not just sustain their runs, uh, you know, or stabilize us during those runs. But, um, you know, just uh, he was solid all the way through and, um, you know, great performance. Okay. Right, yeah, you probably not – Reasonable to expect 22 points and six rates and three on a nightly basis for maybe, but you did continue to put your faith in him with playing time when you asked about him before, and some of the analytic numbers weren't looking so great. Um, what was his performance uh, tonight? What did it, it do to help this win? And just what have you gotten from Avery this season? Yeah, well, anything we get, you know, offensively is uh, is a bonus. But I mean, he's a guy that's averaged 18, 20 points per game in this league, you know, at, at a certain point in his career. So, you know, he is certainly capable. Um, you know, it's just how much are we going to move the basketball? You know, if we're going to move the basketball and we're going to let the ball find energy and find the open man, uh, guys like Avery are going to have uh, big big shooting nights, and uh, we're always telling him to be aggressive offensively. And you know, I don't know what Shea's final line was, 11 points. Okay, and, and four assists after what he did to us the first two games. Avery Bradley was fantastic on the ball with him. So, you know, again, like the uh, the defensive matrix, you know, uh, or metrics. I'm sorry that um, you know can go into uh, a guy like Avery's performance with the defensive rate, team defensive rating. Those are there's a lot of variables in play there, and um, you know to underrate what he brings to to our group's energy, um, you know, is it's misleading. And, uh, you know, he, he just had a great two-way performance for us tonight. Dan? Frank, um, can you tell us any more about Anthony um, and kind of like the late scratch there? Is he going to need imaging or anything like that? Do we know yeah. that level of serious? I, I don't really know exactly what the next steps are other than uh, the medical team just said, you know, we want to find out, you know, exactly what it is before we put him out there. So they're going to hold him out for tonight's game. Uh, but I don't know the, the exact next he steps. He never made it out on the court, right? Is that correct? Uh, I don't know. He got treatment, and um, you know they just came in and said he's out.